the inspiration behind this, behind the C63 AMG Coupe. It's something we've been wanting to do for a while. We had to wait for the right time to be able to do it. C-Class for us is a great platform. The sedan's been very successful. Now to add a sibling, a coupe sibling to, uh, to the sedan seemed like a great sense for us. And we wanted to make sure that we did it right. We didn't compromise interior space or interior room too much. And we wanted a silhouette, that, which is very, very attractive and is uh, going to be very appealing and therefore hopefully entices people to go to their dealerships and, uh, and take a look at the C63 Coupe. Thanks for the question, Wade. Um, yes, we have an aluminum hood on the C63 AMG Coupe, and we're making more and more extensive use of aluminum throughout the platform of not just the C-Class, but the E-Class and the CLS. Um, additionally, not just the hood, but some of the doors, the fenders on many of our models, doors on this car, for example, are aluminum to save weight. But when you move deeper inside the car and you look at the platform, even though we're using ultra high strength steel, the different stamping processes that we use and the construction of the platform maintains the absolute strength, sometimes increases the strength of the platform, but enables us to save weight. So mostly the use of aluminum is, uh, is for us an intelligent and uh, a logical way to be able to save weight. And you'll see that more and more on the cars as, uh, as we continue to, to move through the life cycle and um, in, introduce and launch new models. Yeah, that's a good question, Jeff. Forced induction and the, and the C63. Um, we will not be putting the turbo motor into the C63, and uh, there is a lot of back and forth. In fact, we've had a number of different conversations for hours on end in the office about the competition. If you look at the Cadillac CTSV, it's got a monster motor, 556 horsepower supercharged motor. Um, and it's really up, it's still down to debate exactly which segment that belongs in. It kind of straddles the C63 and the E63 segments for us in both price and performance. But uh, for us, the 6.3 litre naturally aspirated V8 that was designed, developed 100% by AMG is the natural fit with the C63. 465 pound feet of torque, still monster amounts of torque for a frame this small. Uh, so we feel that that's the best combination of power, performance, while maintaining agility by keeping the weight of the engine as low as possible. Superchargers add a ton of weight, and uh, that's something that you can't really get around, so we feel that a compact 6.3 litre V8 engine is the best match for the C63. Yes, Thomas, I'm, uh, I'm happy to tell you that the AMG development package will be available on the C63 AMG Coupe, as it is on the C63 AMG Sedan. Uh, the contents of this package are essentially mechanical. Uh, there's uh, forged connecting rods, there's forged pistons, lowering the reciprocating mass of the engine, therefore increasing responsiveness. It actually gives us 30 more horsepower as well. So uh, zero to 60 times are reduced by about 0.1 of a second. So uh, it's been a very popular option so far and uh, we're happy to continue offering it. Thanks for the question, Joey. Yes, uh, there will be an option to get a matte paint finish for the C63 Coupe and sedan for the model year 12. We'll ha have a couple of different uh, finishes. Actually, one thing that is uh, a little bit unusual, but is going to be very cool. So uh, I can't tell you more details about that right now, but you'll be able to find out more about that in the next couple of months. And these cars will be arriving at dealerships in September of 2011.